That was a clip from the new music video for Dancing Next to Me by Grayson Chance. And joining us now, the masterminds behind the song, Grayson Chance and Teddy Geiger. Welcome to ET. How are you guys? Good. Thank you so much for having us. We are so excited to talk to y'all. I mean, first of all, congratulations. The song is finally out. I mean, Teddy, a producer behind this song, Grayson, you know, the vocals are incredible here. How does it feel that the song is finally finally out and fans can hear it. I think it feels to me very exciting and also just um, it feels very transformative in a way because this is coming off of my last record and my last tour and, and this is the first single off of this album that Teddy and I have made and um, it feels quite crazy for it all to be happening mm -hmm. honestly because we've been in a studio as I've been touring like wow. locked up on this. Uh, this is this is the first song we wrote as yeah. well that wow. kind of started the whole yeah. process. And was there a reason why you wanted to drop this one first to kind of kick off things? Was there anything symbolic about that? There was a lot of there were a lot of discussions over what was going to be first but this felt like in many ways I think it's a good representation of the record mm -hmm. and sort of what you can expect in terms of the lyric is really emotional but yeah. obviously the song is a bit more upbeat Yeah you can like roll down your windows yeah. and drive to that beat at the beginning like is is everything yeah. and so the inspiration behind this song how would you describe it Yeah well I was coming in so I, I think one of the best things about Teddy and I's relationship is and whether you know this or not but um, I was when I was coming into the studio to work with her in August of last year um, I was really a bit uneasy about where I wanted to go for mm -hmm. the next record and I was a bit unsure about how it was kind of all going to come together and I felt like I had been sitting on a lot of just emotional um, a sort of like these narratives and these things that had happened over the summer and I didn't know how to how to get them out so I think this song just started with us having a conversation over um, me kind of being mistreated by this guy and how I was feeling about it and it was it was nice to hear somebody just say yeah yeah that's what you write about yeah. like write about what's going on in your life and and then that took a lot of pressure off of me right. of feeling like oh I don't have to overthink making a second record I just need to go in and, and be honest and just do it like I did on the last one. Portraits my last album was mm -hmm. in in so many ways it felt like a great snapshot of my year of 2018 um, I wrote it about everything that was happening and and in many ways this record feels similar or the same in that way. Um, it's it's really honest this song or, or this yeah. album. I think um, it really just captures me where I am in my life right now and kind of what was going on and and I think there's a lot of storytelling on it too. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I would yeah, I would say the song is a good um, representation of that. I love that. Now you two have developed like quite a friendship. So how yeah. is that when it comes to collaborating? Because obviously you have like this personal friendship and then you have this professional work atmosphere. Like I could imagine there would be like creative differences at all or is it just or is it really just easy? Yeah, we fist fight in the <laughs> studio. <laughs> it's mostly you just like beating. Yeah, yeah. She throws bottles at me and everything. <laughs> No, I think our friendship is the best part. It probably drives our teams crazy because yeah. we're in the studio until God knows how long. <laughs> it's so fun. Can't it's get the like work the done. It's the best when it feels like that, when it yeah. just it does feel easy and there's friendship. Yeah. And like, I really trust his vision. Mm -hmm. And like, just to be able to work on that together, I don't know, it just feels so special and good. Yeah. And, yeah. And speaking of the vision, I mean, the music video too is just a masterpiece. What was the creative process process like? Tell me about it. Yeah, well, um, coming uh, off of the last record too, I had co-directed at least two of the videos off portraits. And mm -hmm. um, at the time too, during that record, we didn't have a lot of money. So I was like having to style everything. I was- Falling um, out of budget. I was, yeah, I was involved <laughs> in everything. So now looking at this video I didn't want to change any of that mm -hmm. you know I wanted to make sure I was writing the treatment that I was involved in every mm -hmm. um, way of it I didn't direct this one Edgar Daniels did but um, we just I sort of had this vision in my head of wanting to utilize this singular space and really kind of show it in uh, different ways to portray the story mm -hmm. and um, I think we did that. We are so happy for you and I mean it's it's I feel like a lot of people still remember you as this 12 year old on Ellen and now a decade later look at you killing the game you obviously took a little bit of time off from the music what would you say looking back at this la last decade like what would you tell your younger self? Um, I mean to just keep going and and also too, what really bonds Teddy and I together mm -hmm 
is, you know, in many ways our stories are very different, but they do have similar starts and sort of we've seen so many sides of the industry, mm -hmm. um, both good and bad. Yeah. And I think having that, you know, connection, I, I remember telling Teddy we were in New York uh, writing the record and it was just one of those days where I was, I, I, I was looking at you and I was like, I want to do this for the rest of my life and yeah. I just, I hope I'm strong enough, I hope I'm good enough for it. And to see somebody who I know has gone through so much and so many ringers mm -hmm. of the industry look me in the eyes and be like, no, you have to do this for the rest of your life. Um, it was just, it was really powerful. So um, regardless of anything at this point, I tell my fans every night on stage, I'm like, if you keep on supporting me, I'll sing for you wow. until I die. And that's how I feel um, right now. That is so powerful. And yeah. I mean, you can tell just looking at your guys' relationship, it's so much more than a surface level yeah. industry type of, you know, partnership and, and whatnot. So what is next when it comes to the whole album? I mean, do we have a time frame for it? Are we just going to slowly start dropping more and more? Yes, we do. The record is very near completion. Okay. Um, so we just have to go in and kind of put some fine tuning on it and finish okay. some things. Yeah. And, uh, but the record's gonna be coming within the next few months. Oh my God, good, yay, good news. And Teddy, I have to ask you too, obviously having you sitting here, we know that you are booked and busy as well. And lately, you know, you've been a huge collaborator with Sean Mendez too. So what can you share about, you know, what you're working on right now with him? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I knew that was coming. It's a vault. Yeah. How, how would, what would you say is like, how do you approach, you know, a song that you think is maybe for Sean or maybe a song for Grayson? Um, I think, I think they kind of know, okay. you know, I, I, the thing about both of them that's very special is they have unique visions mm -hmm. and I am able to trust them and yeah. kind of follow them and like be I always like to think of myself as like being of service and like I want the artist that's listening back to because in the end of the day it's their record so I want right. them to hear it back and be like wow I love this I think it's amazing mm -hmm. and do everything in yeah. my power to like help that happen facilitate it right yeah. I feel like a lot of love songs maybe in the works for for Sean you know embodying where he's at right now see I see okay that's I feel like that's a little tease right there is he dating somebody I haven't heard you know oh just goodness. just someone in the industry named Camila Cabello just you know a little uh, oh, relationship I know. right you there know wait you really didn't know, know that oh I thought yeah. you were just joking with me that's no, so funny I live in Oklahoma under a rock under a rock, yeah. don't, don't read the headlines, yeah. nothing. <laughs> is there a song though, Teddy, in, in your entire career that maybe you wish you kept for yourself? Ooh. Or is everything happening um, for a reason? I think everything happens for a reason. Are you <laughs> cutting anything of your own right now? Yeah, I'm, okay. I'm making out another album for me. Yay! I put one out last year. And... Okay, yeah. And I mean, the last time I saw you was at the Grammys and that was two years ago. And I mean, things have changed for you in your personal yes. life. Would you say that's inspiring new music? Yeah, I mean, I'm. I kind of always have to make yeah. music. It's kind of. I think you're this way. You two are similar. Yeah, yeah, it's it's in your blood. Yeah. Grace and Chance, Teddy Geiger. Thank you so much for joining us, you guys. Dancing next to me is out now. Again, congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Of course.